Hi everybody, it's me, Shirley, and I'm not in my kitchen. I'm at a friend's house. Actually, we used to work together in the late 80s. I started working with this character right here. And she makes really this one cookie that I just love. And she gave me the recipe 100 years ago and then I couldn't find it. So I'm like, Jojo, which I call her. But you might call her Joey. -Ann. Come here, Joey. -Ann. <laughs> This is Joey and my friend. We worked at Dr. Wald's office together and one other office, but I left there right away. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so we're in her kitchen. Tell us what we're going to make today. We are going to make apricot cold doughs and nut cold doughs. Cold doughs. Now, you might have another name for that. Do some people mm -hmm. call it kalaki or... I, I'm sure. I'm sure. This was this recipe is actually from my girlfriend down the street. Um, it was her mom's recipe. Okay. And I tried many, many different recipes, and I always fell back to this one. This is a good one, y'all. This so is stay good tuned. One. This is a good. One. And I have to show you this. Uh, I love little <laughs> recipe files that look like this. Do you have one that looks like this? Well, if you don't, you should. Because and, but my daughter's going to take this book and tear it apart, she told me. Look at this thing. And I she's love it. No, she's not. Uh, well, no, it's <laughs> like that. But we better get it's started. It's fine to... Yeah. Joanne, do you have to make the dough ahead of time, or can you just yeah, use it you, right away? You're actually supposed to make it the night before and let it refrigerate. I actually got up. I was up at 4 a.m. because I was too tired last she night. She loves me. So I got up and made it at 5 a.m. So 5 we're good because yes. it's it's it was in the refrigerator. It's already right. it's you figure 5 a.m. to let's it, go seven hours. So let's we're go. good. Let's okay, go. let's All right. go. Let the cookie baking. Okay, here, Joey Annie. She took her cookie dough out. And it looks like that. Explain yes. this, please. So after I made it this morning, I just put this parchment paper into the bowl and then I put the dough in, covered it with parchment, put the lid on. Mm -hmm. and you don't even have to do that. There's many times that I'll separate it into a couple different balls mm -hmm. and wrap it in parchment and then just throw it on into the refrigerator. What's the minimum you can keep the dough, that you should have the dough in there? Um, it, well, The minimum. I mean, I would say a couple hours. Yeah, maybe three hours or so. Yeah. Give it time. Okay. And you can actually make the dough. I was told, and I even have it written on my little sloppy recipe. Which we'll post. <laughs> you can keep, you can make the dough two to three days ahead if oh, you would good. like, and then mm -hmm. have it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. But I happen to work <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, well, this week. Yeah. Usually I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, but, so what so, do we do here, girl? So now I'm going to, because it's, you can see. It's really um, firm. I'm going to go ahead and cut down a piece so that we can work with it. Mm -hmm. Joanne's sister is here today, Diane. Can I say hi, Diane? Huh? Say hi. Hello. <laughs> She's like, what are you girls doing here? <laughs> say, I'm just here for the cookies. I right. told her, say, I said, stay, Di. That's right. <laughs> Enjoy some company. Okay, so I take a, I take a piece, mm -hmm. and then now I'm going to just need it oh, just to get it to this it's like <laughs> really so you get a you can workout see. and i just i wash my hands real good too sure so yeah so you see <laughs> hey, how we nice? worked in a lab we worked we washed our hands 40 times a day right yeah okay so just you know yeah. get it to the point where it's pliable can, yep yep and then i will take my Handy dandy rolling pit. That looks like a nice old one. Did who did someone give you that? This is actually my father's mother's oh, wow. rolling pin. Nice. So with all those sisters, how'd you get it? <laughs> I claimed it. Yeah, there you go. I claimed I it. When too, we were I make sugar yeah. cookies a lot. Ooh. Dada always made the best apple pie. Oh god. So I got the handy dandy rolling pin. Good. Because I just got my hands on it. Now you're not, you're just using your counter. Yep, that's yep. all. Yep. It's, you know, granite and it cleans real good. Mm -hmm. So just take some flour, you know, roll it out. Mm -hmm. It's AP flour, doesn't have to yep. be self rising. Yeah, just all purpose. 
And that actually, even with the recipe, I just thought I've always just used the all purpose. Mm -hmm. And then just sprinkle down some sugar. Okay. And then I'm going to knead this a little bit, coat it. Did you say sugar? The last part? Uh huh. Oh, so flour and sugar. On my no powder. Wonder, no yeah. wonder they're good. Yeah, it makes it. Oh, yeah, sugar, yeah. Yeah, because you don't put much sugar in the recipe right. when you're making it. So and like I said, it. we'll do the recipe card. I'll have like a still picture of that, and we'll put it in the files. Okay. I still have recipes. We used to trade recipes. And, oh, you know, we? this was before the internet, and yep. you could just send them via email and so whatnot. So Shirley would come into work <laughs> Jeez, here goes. the next day, and she would tell me what she made. I said, wait a minute, girlfriend. I said, I'll write that down. I know. I'm going home and I'm going to try it. And yeah. I still make a lot <laughs> of things. In my handwriting on in um, your handwriting. Yes. Um, same here with the you. Never fail pie crust. All I right. still always make that one. And cherry and squares. Cherry squares. Yeah. I never and sloppy joes. I oh, never oh, ever ever jokes. buy a can. Go ahead. Go right down from it, but she never did. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm getting in trouble. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, at first, it, you know, you have to work with your dough and just, you know, get it. It'll get a little more room temperature, but you don't want it yeah. to be too, yeah. Right. And do you have, like, a set cutter, or do you just use a knife? You know, good old pizza cutter, right? Good old pizza cutter. Yeah. That's what I like the best. And just so everybody knows, does it have to be a certain, like, like, um, height, you know what I mean? Um, like, there's real thin, yeah. or... You, I mean, you don't want it paper, paper thin. Yeah. But I will keep, I will work it out until, uh, it, it get, I get it pretty thick. Yeah. Okay. And you um, keep doing flour as needed, right, like everything right. else. Right, and, and just keep putting that on your countertop. Joe, it yeah. looks like you could flip a pizza. That looks kind of like a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to zoom so, in when you start to cut. Okay. We're not right. Yeah. We're not getting there yet. Okay. So, and Shirley. Do you want me to come back? Like, like yeah. stop it and do sure. that? And we'll get sure. to another point. Okay. 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 We're back. And okay. Joey Ann has that rolled down pretty flat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you she put a see. little more sugar on, too. Yeah. A little more flour, a little more sugar, just so that it, it you know. Joey Ann, you said this is a double batch. Is that yeah. correct? So when we put the recipe on, oops, excuse me. Yeah. When we put it on file, just know that it made that much. That's like a big hunk of mugga there. Yeah. yeah. That's, that, yeah, because I always make a double batch so that it may, you know, I've got enough of cookies for everybody. Yeah. Um, and I have it marked on the recipe card, double batch. Okay, very good. So now okay. she's going to cut. I'm going to so zoom now, in here. Yeah, now I'm going to cut. And you're just judging it, it yeah. looks like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I like petite cookies. I do too. Um, the one time it was funny, Jessica, my daughter, and my mom were here. Mom always liked to come over to watch me bake. I love you, and mama. Um, yeah, uh, I'm baking and I, I'm watching the oven and doing stuff here. I turned around and I went, oh, what are you two doing? They made them humongous. I was like, no, no. Just mommy. Yep. Oh boy. Yep. And they laughed. Yeah. Oh, man. My mother's like, oh, Jessica, we're in trouble. <laughs> Everybody oh knows if Joey has been, you better look out. I'm like, no. Actually, in all seriousness, Joey Ann taught me yeah. a lot because I was just out of school. And it was a medical office. It was internal medicine that we worked, right, babe? But yeah. it was pulmonology also. Yeah, and I didn't have a clue how to take an x-ray and a lot of things. So she I was said, right on. there. I teach you, girl. That's right, and she okay. did. So, Dr. Waltz. You'll Dr. see. Dr. Wald. Mm -hmm. I I'm really, I, I like them small. Okay. Okay? Because who wants a big hunk of, hunk of whatever? Well, then you can try, like, this one and that one. Right. Especially at a Pittsburgh cookie table. We, right. Okay. Yep, and if you're watching mm -hmm. and you're not from Pittsburgh, when we say Pittsburgh cookie table, you'll have to Google that if you don't know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. we'll use this dough. Mm -hmm. But I like to make them pretty perfect. Yep. Yeah, you know. 
this one here. Okay. Okay. Now, and now the we're making apricot and nut ones. Yeah, we're gonna start okay. with apricot. Diane, give me a teaspoon. Draw right there, honey. Yeah. And we just use the bag kind here. I'm gonna yeah. zoom in like that. That's okay. Um, I can see. This is this. the best to use. Okay. Is this really? a name brand? You got this one where? Shop and, shop and say. Shop and no. say. I think they're all that. Apricots. That's all it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They used to be $3.99 last year, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> or $4.99, whatever. Okay, so regular about a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to yeah. be a measuring it's, teaspoon. You, right. So you don't want to take you don't want to put a ton. Mm -hmm. And trust me, it's plenty. Okay. Because oh, you right. want them, you don't want to overfill them because right. then they won't they won't stay together. I sh I should say one time when I did make these, I had some sugar free. Uh, apricot jam. Okay. And I used it. Don't do that. Uh -uh. It all came out. It was there like water. <laughs> I laughed. I took a picture of it. I, I called myself Ellie Mae Clampett that day. Yeah. Yeah, it was bad. Well, so. and the other thing um, with the apricot jam, they, you know, my daughter calls me. She lives in Maryland and mm -hmm. she's got a little cook, oh, bake, yeah. you know. And she's like, Mom, they won't stay together. I said, what kind of apricot did you use? Oh. She, I'm, I'm like, no. I said, you don't want to use a jam. I said, you got to yeah. get the apricot for bacon. Yeah, the filling. To get it to stick. Now, Shop and Save has this. Any of your, like, confectionery stores, like we use Make a Cake on Rochester Road. That's someplace near me. I hear there's one in South Hills um, where they sell, you know, the pans and chocolate and whatnot. You can get that. Now, Joanne's going to okay, make this so little fold. I'm going to, yeah, and pinch it down pretty good. So, so pinch them together. Pinch, Here, let me get yeah. you doing that. Pinch, the pinch them. Okay. And you want to pinch them down. And I will, you'll see me. I will open the oven and I will check because yeah. they do open. And then you just wouldn't, you know, right. as they're baked, just pinch them. Now, some people might use water, a little drop of water for that. Yeah, or so I know, so I think some people even egg. do an egg. Yeah. The egg. The, okay, I'm the, gonna go behind you and still okay. watch you this way, but we're headed to the cookie sheet. You're, you you always use parchment, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's mm -hmm. your oven set at, babe? 350. It, I don't know. You have it on confection. Yeah. Convection yeah, and, and 325. Good. Okay. Yeah. And so they're not too far apart. I bet you can fit four and then oh, four it, or five. Yeah, I, I, right. that, that well, this is a bigger cookie sheet too. Yeah, they don't spread so, so much. I mean, you can get them on there. Okay. Do you sugar them at all? No. Okay. No, not until you know what, like, um, when I serve them, mm -hmm. I sprinkle them with powdered sugar to make them look Ooh. real pretty. And, and yeah, they look, you know, and that's that's and these freeze really well. Yeah, I was gonna say. I wonder, can you freeze the dough? Yeah. I've never tried that. I bet you a quarter. I you bet cook. you you could. Somebody out there, comment below if you have ever made this similar dough. Even it doesn't have to be exact, but can it freeze? Because you know when you're doing a cookie table, you need to make as yeah. much as you can ahead of time. I do, or at least freeze these, right, yeah, Joe? They, they freeze beautifully. Good. I layer them and put parchment, you know, like in between the layers. Mm-hmm. And. You know, like a Tupperware type yeah. or even a even dollar an store. old tin. An old tin. Yeah. There you go. You're going old school with that rolling pin, girl. Yeah. <laughs> so there she is. And we'll just tin. keep going. Yep. This is the apricot. Nice. Once you get the, I think the hardest part is kneading the dough. Yeah. Getting that pliable get enough. It, get it started. Right. Get it started. Now I, um, if you don't have a granite top because they stay nice and cool that's why i have a marble rolling pin myself okay and it stays nice and cool okay um well, but you can use like you know the tupperware uh like silicone thing that you unroll or even a, a cutting, wood a wood top cutting yeah. board type of thing but just make yeah. sure you're going to use appropriate amount of flour and then sprinkle that sugar yeah all right girl they're looking good okay, okay. so hey. after you get this filled uh-huh. About how long would they bake? Um, I'll check them after about seven minutes. Okay. And then we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're going to go for now, and we will be back. 
Okay, in Joanne's own handwriting, <laughs> here is her cold dough recipe. Surely. So take probably... it, take it. I'm gonna put a still picture to you guys. Yeah, you're gonna have to. So this tray is about ready to go in the oven. Mm -hmm. Um, but what I do is I come back again and make sure that we're pinched down. Yeah. Good. Because we, you know, some of them still will, like this one here. Mm -hmm. um, even though I'm, you know, making sure and pinching, pinching, um, right. you'll you'll mm -hmm. still f get some that want to open. And you told me that you'll check the midway. Is yeah. it for that reason? For right? that reason. Okay. And then, like, if so, if any of them need repinched, uh, okay. that's when I get so them. So is it time? It's time to, to put, put them in the oven, girl. The Let's oven. go. Okay, here we go. There we go, and I'll check them, mm -hmm. um, probably in like five minutes, just okay. since it's our first tray, mm -hmm. um, until we get flow in here, five minutes, check them, and then they might actually need another five after that, mm -hmm. but we'll go on. And every oven's different, that's what we yeah. always say, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to show you how to actually make the dough. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, I double, now this is the doubled recipe. So it's a cup of milk and I'm just going to warm it and put two packs of this fast rising yeast into the milk, mm -hmm. just until it warms and the yeast mm -hmm. dissolves. And you always check the dates on those, right babe? Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And these are, these are nice and fresh. Yeah. I made that mistake once and I went through the whole motions of putting everything in my bread maker only to find out my oh. yeast must have been old. Yeah, I did just buy this, so okay. um, I'd have to, I don't have my glasses on to see the date That's right okay. now. That's okay, you're doing good. Okay. So I'll, I'll tell you if you miss the pan. Ah, you got it, there we go. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll have Diane look at it. Can you see a date? Okay. So that's, it. and I will just take my special, I have to, just real low heat under that. Um, 1102 to 1206, 2024. 20, okay. 2024. So, we're, yeah, I we're just gonna, like looking at me they, we're just gonna warm this until that yeast pretty much. I'm like, I'm looking for the date to see if it expires. <laughs> Dissolves in that, so we'll let that go for a minute. Like, what are you looking at? <laughs> okay, and then um, it's four Ooh. eggs for the double, double batch. Got it. Okay, so you know, I've you got my nice I'm going to come over here so I can see a little better. Okay, it's a nice big mixing bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody has their favorite bowls for different yeah. things, you know. These these are actually new though. These are I'm an all clad girl. Oh yeah. I love my all clad. Yeah. So just crack open your four mm -hmm. eggs. And I can you get me a clean fork? Sure. Okay. She she's over there. Mm -hmm. Um and really She's our sous chef today. Yeah, she <laughs> is. I'm just okay, a video so camera girl. I'm just gonna whip up those eggs. Mm -hmm. And then this is yeah. why this cookie's so good. You know, it might seem like, oh, this seems, you know, like a lot of labor, but the payoff is there. And once you do it a few times, right, Joe? Yep. I know yep. you're reminding yourself, you probably know this by heart, but I know you're just yep. being a good I, girl. I, I, yeah, looking. I just make sure. Okay, Diane, the six sticks of butter. All right. Hand me those. Let's go. Now, that's because this is a double batch. Yeah. So if you read, you know, you could do a single Mm -hmm. With like three and a half cups of flour, two eggs, three sticks of butter. Yeah. Um, and this is room temperature butter. You want to yep. help us, sous chef, open some of those? What do you think? And all, sure. All right. <laughs> Everyone has clean hands. Yep. We we washed up. Um, so you put that butter right in and those. And I like it. You know, it really is. I mean, you could take it. See this? Yeah. And you're you want it like that. You do not want to start with a hard stick of butter. Yeah. Right. Because you ain't getting anywhere. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, okay. It's just cheap. like, you Oh, know. look, you are hired, Diane. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Keep up with Joanne. That's, that's a treat. 
<laughs> Try to keep up with me? Yeah, I've done that for a number of years. <laughs> In the office. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Come on, we gotta go down the hall. Yeah. We gotta get that chest x ray. <laughs> Okay. And then we could hear you doing breathing tests from the back room. <laughs> yeah, I still do those PFTs. Oh my gosh, do you? That's yeah, so funny. with the allergist. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so you're a little bit chunking it as yeah, you go. Those... Just to get a start. Yeah, yeah. How many years have you quit work? Oh gosh, 2000, uh, you know what it was? It was 9-11. Oh, Two thousand, yeah, yeah uh, the day the towers fell. Oh yeah, I was downtown. Shit, I was like, mm, yeah. I was we were actually in the lab that day, <sighs> watching it on the internet. Oh, yeah, so, so yeah. that's Those six are... whole thingies of butter. Yeah, but this For makes a, a lot. This batch. is a double. Okay. Yeah, and if you're gonna do it, I say double it. I always do. I always yeah, double it. Mm -hmm. Um. You, are you going to yeah. check those cookies again, Katie? Yeah, Katie? that's what I was going to do. Yeah, because you told me in about five yeah. or so. Okay, so let me get pot holders over here. Okay. Yeah, She's ready. Looking good. Mm -hmm. I smell them. Uh -huh. So, here we go. Coming on, coming on out. You gonna push anybody closed? Yeah, I am. And, and what did we say about the ones that weren't perfect? What do you do? You leave a oh, plate for Bill? I yeah, <laughs> those go on a dish for my husband, <laughs> and I put them on top of the toaster oven, Wheel. and he gets them all that first it night. It is true though. Okay. Like so yeah. yeah, that's right. Um. They look good, but they're not quite done, right? Yeah, they're real. They're not quite done. Yeah, they're puffy little a little bit. Thinner, and so I'll like watch little, the bottoms. That's what I do too. Bro. Um, you know, and then once that bottom starts browning, that's when I really start taking yeah. them out. Yeah. Okay, that's my crazy oven. When, once yeah, I have my oven goes up too. Once I have that door open. For, okay. And this is our first pan. So Doesn't have to be perfect, girl. They're. Because I want to eat some mistakes. Okay, I told you, right? We're right? going to eat some mistakes. <laughs> Why um, not? Well, I I told you, even when Sage was little, he'd come okay. in and go, Hey, Mom, is this an ugly one? I'm like, yeah, you can eat that one. So This is the only one that's kind of on the thinner side. Because the thinner, it'll cook a little. Yeah, fast. it cooks. Yeah. There's a okay. few in there, though, that are. So back to this. Let's thick. go, girl. Okay, so here we go. Um, and it's only um, a half a tablespoon of sugar mm. um, for the single. So I'll put in a tablespoon of sugar right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And honestly, that that doesn't have to be perfect because you're... Yeah. Here, I'm going to just grab... I'm not even using a measuring tablespoon. I'm yeah. just going to take... That's how real cooks do it in a the kitchen. There you go. That's good. Because if you did everything to the not you know to yeah. the letter that's why people get bored with cooking okay. or don't even want to bother yeah so you just kind of do what you did right you do and she's stirring her milk milk and the yeast just to see that you know it the yeast is a little bit yep activates if you mm -hmm. will and it's mixing up so it's really warm enough mm -hmm. so i'm going to shut the heat off it should be tepid and, and not then, boiling and not too cool you can usually gauge it with a thermometer if you need to i think it's 110 um, don't quote me on that but that's what i think I, I okay would, jojo i wouldn't know that okay now um it's going to be your flour seven cups Woohoo! no wonder you have a big bowl yep a flower and I actually I have my measuring cups in here because I, I put them in here this morning because I knew we were going to be making another batch so I said okay that's where you're staying right now. yeah that's your home right <laughs> and now. I don't have to wash and dry it right just stay in there okay and then seven. poor girl this is the second time she made um, this today a butter knife to level off Ooh, look at your eye Diane your eyes a little with my eye? Oh, let's not go there. We're baking cookies, girls. Okay. I have <laughs> my eye. Okay. Uh oh. So there's one. Okay. So after this, Joanne, you get seven of these cups because it's double. But then, yeah. are you going to just hand stir this? Yes, 
I am. Okay. Anything else goes in here? Vanilla or anything? Nope. Okay. I'm going to come back it. to you then. So we're that a little bit long. It. But see how she's leveling it off? She's doing like the fluff and level it. Because baking is a little bit more exact than cooking. Okay. We'll be back. Joanne's been like pushing and she chose to use her gloves so it doesn't get up your fingernails. I do that once in a while. Yeah. And you can buy those gloves anywhere at the dollar store. Or and you don't have to. If you, you don't, don't have to. If, now know. here's the question. If somebody has a little bit of time, hard time mixing in this way, could you put the dough hook maybe in your KitchenAid? And I just would think you probably could. Yeah, just don't over mix. I just or, always, you know, from yeah. get-go right. um, learn to hand mix it right right yeah and it didn't take you very long at no. all just maybe no. four minutes at the mm -hmm. most would you say yeah and she's just incorporating just there were eggs in there and everything so. down and um that's the reasoning why you really want your butter really nice oh, and yeah. soft so there were a couple that were a little bit harder oh um, because you had yours, yours had been out, yeah. and then when you got here, I took two oh, more. Oh, gotcha. I got, yeah. I took two more sticks out, but it, I mean, it's fine. Mm -hmm. but, just makes you get more muscles. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you so you're to, almost done. Yeah. I like the texture of this, I mm -hmm. can tell. And then, of course, when this step is finished, you put this in the refrigerator. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. But she was up at 5 a.m., y'all, and she made the other double batch. <laughs> I got out of bed at four. Out of bed at four. There uh, you go. I, and then I, I had my I'm cup of coffee. You and then <laughs> <laughs> I started the laundry. And then by five, I was. Oh, gosh. And you mean you didn't do the woodwork? What's wrong with you? You slipping. <laughs> <laughs> One time she told me I clean the top of my refrigerator every day, and I said, You will never come over to my house. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, once, you said something like that. I remember. Once a week at least. Once a week. Okay. I, yeah. But I thought you said every day, and I'm like, No, nah, I don't go there. <laughs> Not even close. No, I don't go there. Once a week. Yes, I do go there. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So can you see? That looks good. Yeah. See, yeah. and it's it's just about I, there's just a little bit butter that I've been needing. incorporating and just yeah. getting it all. Over That's through. all. Perfect. So now, and in the meantime, I'm going to show the ones that are finished. Mm -hmm. They look beautiful. Some people put a little egg wash and that crystal sugar on top. You mm -hmm. like powdered sugar sometimes? Yeah. You so. Say? When I serve them, mm -hmm. I put them on the tray and then I sprinkle them with powdered sugar. That's not, that's really and pretty like they're that. They're really pretty. Okie it, doke. It just, yeah. There we go. Here's Joanne's first batch and I just wanted you guys to see the bottom because she checks those more than the top. Like she's able to tell when they are finished and not too doughy. I don't know about you, but I've been to a cookie table and I felt like I was eating raw dough. These look 